In this video, we're gonna learn how to turn this bunch of photos into this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Filmstock channel. My name is Luca, we are here in Bali, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to capture, import, and edit a time-lapse in Filmora 12. Let's get into it. Alright, we came down to this beautiful beach in Bali. The sun is very bright. It is a sunrise right now. But as you can see behind me, there's a few clouds. So we're going to do a time lapse of these clouds. We're going to use a camera, our Sony A7S3. We're going to use an ND filter to keep our shutter speed low. And we're going to use Sony's internal interval shooting. If your camera doesn't have an interval shooting internal, you can use an intervalometer, which can be bought very cheaply on Amazon or eBay or any of the sites. So we're gonna set our interval at three seconds. We're gonna set our white balance at 54,000 as I find that to be the perfect white balance mostly every time. And then we're gonna set our shutter speed at one over 15. And the filter to keep a bit of motion blur in the photo. And that's it. We're gonna leave this tripod here with the camera for about 20, 30 minutes. Hopefully these clouds move a bit behind me. And that's it. And once that's done, let's go back to the studio. So first thing first, if you are shooting on a RAW format, you want to transform all of your photos into a JPEG. To do this, I use Lightroom. Once you have all of the JPEGs, just simply drag and drop into your media folder in Filmora 12. Then I'll shift to select all the photos and drag them into the timeline. Now, as you can see, we have all of our photos in the timeline, but each photo is about five seconds long. And we want each photo to be one frame so that we can see our time-lapse. To do so, all we're gonna do is click on the first photo and change the duration to 0 0.000.000.1, which means one frame. Simple as that, now all of your photos are one frame. And if you click space or if you click play, the time-lapse, it's pretty much done. All it's left to do, it's a bit of color grade. So I usually select all of the photos and make a compound clip so that any color correction applied to that will apply to all of the photos. And so the color grading will be equal throughout the video. Once you're done, you can just go on and export as usual and you're done, your time lapse is finished. Thank you so much for sticking around guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell notification not to miss any tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.